Right, everyone, welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. We're uh, in some sort of clinic after we got rescued by Sampo uh, and his smoke bombs. Uh, even though I think we were we were doing okay, we were holding our own. I don't know if he had to intervene, but um, he did. And now we get to meet the lovely Natasha, who obviously we've been using for a little while. Um, she might be replaced because we did get our first five-star pull last time, which was... Uh, apparently I failed a 50-50... I, I'm learning all sorts of things about these gacha mechanics, so because I was on the banner for Black Swan, um, I did get a 5 star, but it wasn't her, so I technically failed, but that means now I'm guaranteed to get the banner character on the next time I get a 5 star. So I've actually looked a little bit ahead for some of the future banners, which we'll actually check out now. Also, I think I have mail? We'll check that in a minute. I've claimed some some of my daily things as well. Um, so we've got more passes. We've got five regular and eight special. Um, the new the new banners on. So uh, sp sparkle, new character. We could we could try some of the new character trials, uh, and I'm sure we probably will do. There's a few of them. Uh, Jing Huan. Am I saying that right? That's a nice lion there. Um, Frickin' Sampo. Bloody Sampo. Um, kit, kit, kit. Her. Um, Hanya. Oh, I like the look of her. Uh, so we might do these sporadically. We've got plenty of days to do these left. How many days is it? Like 25 days. Um, I'm thinking I might not pull on this one, though, just because the one after this one, I've, uh, I've had a, a little... A little bit of a, not a spoiler, but kind of a hint at the uh, the next banner from a friend of mine. Um, and uh, Acheron. Yeah, I kind of like the look of Acheron. So uh, we might save up for that one. But in the meantime, we can obviously spend our regular ones. Um, and we will do some of these character trials eventually. Uh, or we could, we could pull for this one. I'm not that fussed. Does kind of look cool again as well. But um, it depends. If we get a bunch of special passes, I might throw a few on random ones like this. But um, yeah, also light cones. Not going to be a huge priority for me at the moment. Um, stellar warps. Yeah. So there's character trials we could do on that one as well. Also, <laughs> so many of you commented... Uh, you shouldn't do, uh, you shouldn't buff the buffer, uh, Ting uh, Ultimate. Yeah, I fucked up there, I know. I fucked up. I'm still learning, okay? I'm still learning. Um, and we did get her as well, don't we? Didn't we? Um, as well as, yeah, I oh, forget, ba Bailu? I just want to check what our mail is first. Don't open this. I told you not to open it. You're too rebellious, darling. Are you enjoying your time in Pen- Penaconi? I, I don't know where that is. Since you're so brave and rebellious grey hair, I'd like to give you a gift. Something can help warm you up. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to get some... Sparkle's Wondrous Pack. Uh, oh, are they, are they... Oh, a present from a certain masked fool. Okay. Item used to replenish trail, Trailblaze Power. Oh, that gives me more energy back. Oh, right. And I haven't I haven't done anything off screen, by the way, other than claiming uh, a few rewards. So, right. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, and some credits. Was that, wait, was that credits or was that cred bits? Anyway. So, um, characters. I think we are going to change things up a little bit. Um, I really do like Natasha, though. I know I I should at least check out what Bailu's like. Just weird dragon kid. Uh, also lightning. So maybe we'll replace. I do like Saval. I do like Saval. But we'll swap her out. Temporary. Oh wait, I'm not, I'm not even on the right screen here. Uh, team setup. So, I think, let's make a, a new party here. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to make a new party. I could just swap them out. But, um, right, let's do a quick setup. So, we'll have me. We'll have... I, I do like Dan. I think... I mean, I could swap him out as well for... 
another damage dealer. Um, but we'll keep him in the team. And we'll get Ting Yun. And we'll put Beilu in as well. I'm probably saying her name wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, confirm. So we'll give this a go. Which means we do have two lightning users. Um, but we've got a, a really good healer who apparently can revive characters. Which we haven't had before. Uh, so we'll give give them a go. Ting Yun is apparently just such a good character for buffing. So, you know, I'll, I'll try not to use her ultimate on herself anymore. We've still got Dan and obviously main characters. So I think we need to do some leveling of these new characters. And then we will chat with Natasha. Uh, so I think we're probably fine. Dan's probably fine for now. Ting Yun, right, Light Cone, what can I give you? Uh, after where use, uses a, attacks or gets hit, additional regenerates four energy. Oh, that's the meshing cogs. Yeah. Which we have quite a few of. We could superimpose those. I think I've given those to Aster at the moment. Let's equip that for now, because more, more energy means more ultimates and more buffing, I suppose. Um, and we could enhance that. Should we superimpose that with the rest of the meshing cogs? Because we've got two of them. Which means we could uh, regenerate an additional six energy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice. Right. And we could also level it up, I'm sure. Uh, we have many, many, many materials. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Straight away to level 20. And, ooh, got some sparse, e sparse ether. Can't talk. Right. So, we need to be Trailblaze level 15, which we're currently 11, I think, at the moment, to get that any higher. That's fine. Uh, let's see. How far could I level you up? I have so many materials, yeah. You know what? You're going straight to level... Level 20, foxy lady. And... Beilu. Now, should I give you the one that Natasha had? Increase the wearer's energy regeneration rate by 8%. Increase outgoing healing. I feel like that's still the best thing we have for a healer. Even though I know it's technically Natasha's thing. I think I'm just going to give it on uh, to, to Beilu for now. And to, well, then again. Are any others... See, that's... That's increasing attack. Uh... Start of battle immediately regenerates 6 energy for all allies. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking... Thinking I'm just gonna give, give this one over to, to you for now. Confirm. Right. Of course, we could enhance that more as well. Which I feel like maybe I should do, because it is a four star, but that would use up all of my materials. Which I can get more of. I can get more of by grinding. So maybe I should just do it. But, I think we'll hold off for now. Because I think, I think we should be fine with this team. I'm really curious to see how... How this works. Um, and I think that's about all I was gonna do. I think, let's have a chat with Natasha. And also, maybe, loot a few, uh... Bits of lore. Because uh, I feel like we're, we're in the underground now, right? Aren't we? We must be. We must be. Dig this music again. Really dig this music. Really cool. Uh, Dreamland analysis. Again, we'd be here all day if I was reading every, every one of these chaps. We really would. It would just be a whole video of just me reading, so... I'm just going to collect it all. Natasha's list. Ooh, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, I'm not Dr. Natasha. I know many of you are exhausted from your daily work, uh, and so you entrust your children to the care of the clinic. I understand how difficult it must be for your family. See, Natasha seems like such a cool, such a nice lady. Little Charlie. Timmy. Oh, little eight-year-old Timmy. Cool. Right. Hello. How I'm awake. Feeling? Any aches or pains? Uh, I feel much better. I've got migraines all over my body. I hope you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's either an interesting metaphor or you hit your head. I mean, I, in I inhaled a lot of smoke, which cannot be good for me. Thanks again, Sampo. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. A whole day? Nice to meet you. I'm Mage. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. I'm a big fan of your ultimate animation. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. Cool. Did you also notice that I may or may not have a Stellaron inside me? So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients? No, by all means. By all means. Uh, why did I pass out? Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. Mm -hmm. He's always tinkering with his devices. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. So I'm still confused about how the heck Sampo actually got us all out of there, because... Like, he's only one man, right? There was at least three of us, and he may or may not have brought Bri Brionya, or whatever her name is, as well. I don't know. Um, what's our medical bill? Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. Oh, that's okay then. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years, but that guy owes me. Uh. You better bring me back some medicine. <laughs> okay. I already, I already like it. Uh, people were following us. Sampo told me. Don't worry. The Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Hmm. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the Architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that Wildfire's wanted to achieve for a long time now. I feel like we're about to become acquainted with Wildfire. Where are my friends? Oh yeah, that's a good point. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Ah. Oh. Your rowdier friend took off <laughs> soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. Okay, they didn't want to wait for me to wake up. Fine. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Oh, crap. So, how did he get all of us down here? Especially if this place has been sealed off. I've, I don't know. Who, who is this Sampo, anyway? Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Hmm. Wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Natasha. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start? It's so weird when I suddenly start talking. Find March 7th and Dan. Let's go. Boulder Town. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey. It's giving me a uh, big Midgar, Midgar vibes. A L little bit slummy, but also kind of nice. Maybe even a little bit of like Breath of Fire 5. Right. See what March is doing. Well, she seems to have got the attention of some kids. Oh, is that Hook over there? That looks like Hook over there. We're gonna meet Hook? Right, we got Space... Space Wanker. Space Wanker. Chest. Yeah, let's, let's have a little mooch around before we go chat to March. More treasure. Love this atmosphere. Oh, wow. Yeah, this really does feel very Midgar. 
Uh, how big is this place, by the way? Okay. Not massive, but like, it, fe it feels bigger than it actually is, which is good. Fight Club? Watch a fierce, watching a fierce boxing match in the evening after a whole day of hard labor is the most extravagant pastime for many underworlders. I wonder if I can take part. Uh, what else have we got? We got... Oh, this, they've got a hotel down here as well. Uh, we've got underground shop. Sells a bunch of stuff. Uh, food stall. That's the clinic. Okay. Mysterious kid. Gatekeeper of the underground ring. Hey, you here for the Dark Fist tournament? I... I would like to. What is the Dark Fist tournament? Can't disclose much if you don't have the club invitation. All I can say is that only selected fighters get to enter the high-class fisticuff known as the Dark Fist tournament. We've got to be entering that at some point, right? And I do love me a good tournament arc. Uh, it's a thousand times more exciting than anything else in the club. Guess you need an invitation from the Fight Club. Uh, they, they're totally going to make jokes. They're, they're totally going to... There's going to be something like, yeah, you you can join, but we have some rules. First rule, you don't talk about Fight Club. Second rule, you know the, you know the deal. You've seen it, right? It's a good film. It's a very good film. Never read the book. Never read the book. Ah. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Maybe someday in the future, the metal barriers will disappear from this world. Can I actually go in Fight Club? Again, I feel like maybe we should check this out later. Oh, there's a poster. When people talk about fighting, they are referring to one of three things. Punching techniques, palm strikes, and finger strikes. If fighting sports are too heavy for you, you can start with rock, paper, scissors. I love me some rock, paper, scissors. Me and my niece play that all the time. Oh, I can. We're in Fight Club. Okay. Damn, that looks really warm down there. Uh, sand ba Oh, it's a sand... <laughs> it's a sand bag. It, pay it pays to be heavy. When people are attacking you, their hands will hurt. It pays to be heavy. What's this? All sorts of posters, invitations, and notices are plastered upon the wall. One caught your attention. It looks new, but there are abundance of dirty fingerprints on it. It is clear that for many people, this box of recruitment form had ignited their fighting spirits. Okay. Yeah, digging this soundtrack. Uh, I don't think there's much else I can do here right now. But I'm sure we're gonna be we're gonna be back here, aren't we? We are totally gonna be back here. Well, let's have a listen. Let's be nosy. Did you see the last match? Here's last match. I'm telling you, he's no good this season. That's enough. Do you understand how much the last championship is worth? I'm actually feeling pretty good about that guy with the robot arm. The robot armed guy? He's apparently no match for the champion of last season. Is his name Jax? She went bananas. B A N A N A S. Really have to thank Gwen Stefani for teaching us all how to spell that word. The fight club in the underworld comes uh, in two ambiences noisy and noisier. But in such a bolsterous venue, uh, you notice someone conspicuously out of place. You know from past observations that there would be one such person, person, uh, one such person in every such occasion, but this one seems different somehow. The coin envelope sits unremarkably on a wooden crate that is being used as a side table, yet it exudes a unique quality of its own. Silent, elegant, independent, even a hint of darkness. You also see invitation written in big, crooked letters. You find yourself unable to pry your eyes from it. It's mine now! That's the right move. No one could resist such a silent, elegant, independent, and slightly dark envelope of invitation. We got an invitation letter! It really does pay to just interact with stuff, doesn't it? So does that mean I can I can fight now? I mean, we, we do need to go, like, chat with um, March, but hang on a second. Also, I've got achievements that I need to claim. Or at least one. Uh, discover the secret beneath, uh, Urillo 6. Alright, there we go. 
That must just be for coming into Underworld, right? Uh, inventory. Is that going to be in my inventory, though? And where would it be? I have so many items. Also, yeah, uh, a few people have asked, like, have told me to equip relics. I, I don't seem to be able to yet. I guess we'll unlock that at some point. Um. Ah, there we go. Mission item. Hmm. So maybe that's going to unlock a side quest for us then. I still haven't done the, um... Uh... I haven't gone back into the... Whatchamacallit? The... The uh, simulated universe. Maybe I should do that? Should I just do that off-screen? Should I do these off-screen chaps? Are they are they really that important? Because I will get some materials from them. Uh, and I do want to do them eventually, but yeah, let me know if I should probably just do those off-screen. Um, right. Well, yeah, I don't know. At least we found that. My friend, looking for a ticket? Uh, I don't think I need one anymore. So maybe if I talk to you now... I can show him my invitation. Oh, yeah, let's do it. I didn't expect you to get an invitation. I see you're a chosen one. Follow me. Okay, well, screw the story then for now. <laughs> Attention, chosen ones. The Underground Rings Dark Fist Tournament fi finally has a new challenger. Wait, am I gonna... Am I gonna fight a bunch of kids? Please welcome Mage. Wait. Wait a minute. Is this just a ring for children? Is this an underground children fighting? How do you say that, kid? Isn't this supposed to be an underground fighting ring? Of course it is. Where, where could the underworld be but underground? I mean, true. I see you know nothing. Just don't bawl your eyes out when you lose. Quiet, quiet. It's Major's first time, so let me introduce the competitors and the rules. Mage, the three people in front of you are the formidable four. Oh my god. We're gonna beat the shit out of some kids. Or maybe the kids are gonna beat the shit out of us. Um, it is, is it really just rock, paper, scissors? Oh my god, there's me thinking it's gonna be this really seedy, violent, underground fight club, and it's just rock, paper, scissors. Wait, yeah, why are there only th three people in the formidable four? Wait a second. Jimmy's dad won't let him out until he's done with his homework. <laughs> Hush, the whereabouts of the formidable four are top secret. All right, quit yapping and start the match. Wait a minute. I mean, I guess I'll chat with the first one first. That makes sense. Hi, mister. Here for rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god. I'm taking on Mary. On my signal, one, two. Battles can happen unexpectedly. Uh, rock. I win! I beat Mary! Suck it, Mary! Uh, Mary, one of the formidable four has lost, so do, do we have a rising star in the Dark Fist tournament? Um, I impressed myself. Oh, my lost mister is just too good. Yeah, because obviously Rock, Paper, Scissors is such a game of skill. Say your line, Mary. Huh? The one about the weakest. Oh, right. You may have won, mister, but I'm the weakest. Wait, is this a reference to Pokemon? And the, and the Elite Four? It totally is, isn't it? That's totally what this is, because don't they say that? Oh, you may have beaten me, but everyone else is way tougher. Looks like the child is simply having fun. Oh, this is great. Right, let's see if we can beat all of them. The rookie mage is taking on Tom. Uh, not talking because silent waters run deep? What? It looks like Tom is ready. On my signal. One, two. The silent kid doesn't react to anything that is said at all. You're not sure if he is indeed ready for you. Even if he was, you still couldn't get a, a read of him because he showed no tell. He is just a, a tabula rasa. Ace is a s airtight for... Uh, what's your move? Uh, paper. Shit. Wait, are they all going to choose scissors? Still not reacting. How can anyone, let alone a child, not respond to winning? You just can't fathom it at all. But you know one thing, you lost, and decisively. Let me try again. Is it gonna be- Oh, can I not re- Oh, no! Okay, we gotta- we gotta beat this one. 
David. The haughty kid raises his right hand, we, uh, wanting a piece of you. This kid is already getting on your nerves, and now you're itching to beat him thoroughly. But the so-called Dark Fist tournament is just a game, and he's just a kid. Do you really want to rub it in his face? Yeah. Um, I have to put him in his place. What, what happens if I choose that? How evil, but the higher powers don't seem bothered by it. In other words, it actually might not be a bad idea to humble the kid with an eye for an eye. In no time, you convince yourself to teach the kid a lesson, so just do it. At the very last, at the very least, Lan, who oversees the path of the hunt, would be glad to hear this. Distract and switch? Brilliant plan. As you to reveal your hands, you shout, Look, is that Dr. Natasha? Your young and naive opponents have never seen such a tactic before. He is indeed startled by your words, and you grasp the opportunity to change your rock into the winning scissors. No one notices the move. You win, and in much delight, I am just scamming these children. The rookie mage has scored two points. I guess we have a winner, and it's game over. According to the rules, you get a prize. It's the secret to making our wrathful gauntlets. Follow its instructions, and you can create powerful gauntlets. How is that for a dark fist? Dark indeed. Okay, it's getting late. Mary, Tom, and David, we should get back to the clinic. All right, let's go. What did I just do? Oh my god, I got a trophy? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Wow. What a random thing we just stumbled across. That's bloody brilliant. Ooh, a chest. Um, and I'm not talking about Natasha. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I guess I got something for that then as well. And another achievement. Um... Participate in the Dark Fist tournament and become the ultimate winner. Which we, yeah, we just basically cheated. Uh, do I feel bad? No. Right. Yeah, inventory. What did we just... Yeah, was that a recipe or something? Okay, we've already got... Yeah, that's the fuel. Yeah, that's cred bits. Used by the Inter... Interastral Peace Corporation. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what else we... Uh, if we actually got anything. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Yoink. Non-Pulp Fiction, another achievement. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe I should um, buy some more passes. Uh, so that's on sale. Yeah, so the shops have reset. I've only got 160 embers, though. Uh, but we've got... More jade, so you know what? I'm just gonna... Just gonna buy two more special passes, which gives me ten, I think. So, I could do a ten pull, obviously. But I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit, because Acheron... <sighs> Acheron looks... A few of you have asked if I want to do reactions to character trailers as well. I might do, but it's not typically something I do on the channel. I don't do a lot of reaction things. It's usually just for, like trailers for a game I'm really excited for, but um, maybe. Maybe I will. Uh, ah, we've activated 14 space anchors. Oh wait, no, I've not. I've done three. Sorry. Sorry, that was... No, no, no. My bad. My bad. Right. Well, we've already had some pretty interesting adventures down here already. I, I said already twice. I like it. More chests. Is this... Nice. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Be grateful. Be grateful for what you get. See another chest ahead of us. Wow, yeah. We are deep underground. Check out that shop in a second. More stairs in a minute as well. Oh, there's another chest. God, so many. Oh. Oh, there's a dumpster. And a, tr and a trash can. This trash can looks... Oh, wait. I thought I was talking to the dumpster. Um, that's the sentence I just said. Uh, the trash can looks like the other ones at first glance, but when you take a closer look, uh, look, you uncover its sinister nature. Someone has done something to the spring bar of the lid. If you push the lid of this trash can, the lid will bounce back to you, dealing a heavy blow. Temper it? Fix it? None of my business. 
fix it? You spent some time on it, but finally succeeded. Now the spring bar is fixed and nobody will be hurt by this trash can. Oh, yay! We got more praise of high morals. So I'm guessing we get that when we do something good, right? I... Ba basic treasure, we might as well open that. Yoink. Uh... This is a trash can. The lid seems to have been cut open with some kind of implement. This is normal. No, it's not. Open it. You open the tin lid, and a waft of burnt wood mixed with cold steel invades your uh, olfactory senses. Looking into the depth of the trash can, you can see flickers of embers still hanging on, struggling to extend their own lifespan. Someone started a trash fire? Strange matter of dis Okay. Alright then. I, I, I love how just, just... Every... Like, such a mundane-looking thing in this game has such an elaborate bit of, like, flavor text. And it's just so random. Food store owner, I mean, hi, Turner. Uh, isn't this our old friend Mage? Wait, do I know you? What's up, hankering from some lo local Boulder Town snacks to fill your belly? Tell me about the competitive eater championship. Oh, I see, that's what you're here for. Well, I don't know what it is yet. Let me lay it out for you. The rules are simple. See these plates uh, of already fried rock crabs? As soon as I start the clock, you need to do everything you can to stuff all that crab meat into your mouth. If you get five plates knocked out in 20 seconds, then everything in this store is free for you to enjoy. Um, we'll give it a go. That's what I'm talking about. Just looking at you, I can tell you've got confidence to spare. Remember to get a bottle of water. You don't want to choke on a big chunk of crab. <laughs> Hunk of crab. Come to the front store when you're ready. This is going to be another mini game. Oh my god, there's a crowd. Come on, come on. Feast your eyes on this. We have another brave soul who has come to take on the challenge of the, uh, for the title of Boulder Town's competitive eater champion. Do they have what it takes? Their expression at least looks confident. He must be joking. Look, he's as skinny as a beanpole. Courageous challenger. Tell us, what is your name? Thinks for a moment. Call me the Stinging Crab. Wow, did you hear that? Has there ever been a greater confidence? The challenger made the word crab part of the <laughs> name. The Stinging Crab. Remember the name. If in just a moment, he very well could be Boulder Town's competitive eater champion worthy of our admiration. Are you ready? Don't forget, the challenge is only considered complete when you have, uh, when you eat five plates. How do I do this? Go. Take the first bite. You are blown away by the fresh, fragrant, rich flavor hits your mouth. No, just, just, I'm just gonna... A little greasy. Keep on doing it. Third bite. St the stupid additives, you feel thirsty and nauseous. No, I'm doing it. I mean, I don't have a choice. Can so what was that? Oh, I missed that. Uh, tell you a little something. Rock crab is in... I'm just, I'm, I'm eating it. Your mind is completely blank. Your stomach is a vast sea filled with trillion of ton tons of crab paste. Ugh. You did manage to eat fi all five plates of crab meat, but unfortunately, you went over 20 seconds. Bullshit. I skipped all the text. The stall owner's words reach your ears, but you are already slipping into unconsciousness. You couldn't care about whether you won or lost. The only one thing, there's only one thing on your mind. He's gonna throw up. Oh boy. Are they excited about- I don't- I'm talking about you chaps, but I don't like watching people throw up. It's gross. Barfs. I feel awful. I get it, I really do. What a shame. You were right on the cusp of victory. Is it possible to win that? Maybe I did take longer than 20 seconds. I probably did. However, according to the rules, contestants who don't complete the challenge must pay for their meals. Oh, what?! You could have bloody told me that before. What a sly merchant. Hey now, what's all that about? I told you the rules up front. No, you fucking didn't. I mean, to be fair, why would you think that he would just give you free food if you lost? That's a good point. A thousand credits, fine. Yeah, I can afford that. Yeah, thanks for your bloody swindling. If you want to participate in the Boulder Towns competitive, feel free to come by tomorrow. Is it possible to win that? 
I feel like I have been gypped a little bit there. Anyway, let's have a look up here. It won't let me. Okay. Any more chests? We've got five or seven. Can I find the other two, or are they inaccessible? Also, there's a lot of glowing Clocking off. ore. Finally. Oh, is that the that's the stuff that is the heating? Yeah, what do they call it? I can't remember what they call it now. Oh, I'm guessing I'm not going to be allowed to go that way. The Great Mine. Aha. I think that might be our next dungeon. Crystalline ores sparkle inside the crate. Geomaro, that's it. Right, hi, March. So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I like you already, Hook. <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. No fibs. in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Ne Hi, Julian. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? Hi, March. Do you, I, I might... uh, when did you get here? Am I interrupting? <laughs> you see my face then? I've been here a while. Not that long, big sister. Uh, quit acting like a child. You're about to play hide and seek, which is top tier game, by the way. As an as a grown-ass man, 32 years, years old, nearly 33, I'll, I'll be visiting somewhere and I'll go, you know what? You could play a killer game of hide-and-seek here. I just it's I love like hide-and-seek. After I woke up, that doctor said Sambo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped <laughs> into these kids. They say they know where he is. Okay. I mean, we could just wait for Dan to come back. I'm sure he will, right? But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide and seek. Do you get it? Uh, need a teammate? <laughs> Best of luck. I get it, you're being bullied by children. Uh, so what if I am? Why don't you help me, huh? Oh, I'll help. I'll help. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Yeah, precious. Ju All right, Julian, have you got any any thoughts of your own? Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. He also wants to join the moles. Can he play too? Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Yeah, I did I did think that we would be the ones trying to find you. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Okay. Mm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. I do like this kind of thing in RPGs. It happens a lot. Like this, this is this has been done to death in games, right? But I still enjoy these kinds of quests. So you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. Right. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Okay, well I could probably run quicker than a kid, right? I got longer legs. Alright, where is... Oh, is it just gonna tell me? Find the concealed kid to complete the practice. Please don't tell me it just... Oh, wait, no. No, it's just in this area. Okay, good, good, right. Where are you, Hook? Where are you? Are you hiding in the dumpster? Oops. Oh yeah, look, we can- I keep on forgetting we can run around as other characters. God damn. Those are some thighs right there. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Dumpster. The dumpster remains silent. The hunk of junk gazes gently at you. Okay. Trash can. Two trash cans stood tightly side by side as if no force in the world could separate them. Um, have you seen Hook anywhere? 
Anyone seen Hook? Also, Street Lamp. A street Lamp. It plays the part of Zeitgeb... What the... F what is a Zeitgeber? Where could you be, Hook? Dumpster evokes a special emotion in you. <laughs> Unrelated to its location, appearance, and uh, olfactory triggers, it, it, it is a sense of hiding uh, from the world, as well as a hint of pre 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 preternatural coziness. What? A wrinkly piece of paper is stuck on the lid of the dumpster with the number 81 on it. Knock on it. Scribble the paper. Uh, let's open. You see a shabby room with a set of wrinkled yellowish bedding, a pillow made from a gunny sack, two opened bread flavor soda, a pair of miner's boots, a torn out book whose words can no longer be distinguished, as well as a knife. Those are all the ingredients of one heck of a party. Looks like someone used this dumpster as their humble living quarters. Yeah, it certainly would. Um, what about this one? Did they have neighbors? The dumpster is shining. Someone threw three pieces of geomaro in it. The person threw it so heavily that the shards of the ore scattered all over the trash can. You have no idea uh, where the anger of that person stems from. Neither can you understand this behavior. After all, Geo Marrow is uh, as valuable as gold in the underground. Yeah, why would you throw that away? Why would you throw that away? Um, would you throw money even if a fit of anger? No, I'm a tight ass. That's right. Now, uh, let's end the conversation here. It's really boring to talk about dumpsters and money. <laughs> what is this game? Right. Where is Hook? 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 Actually, no, I have no idea where you are. Uh, well, you're not in the in the Great Mine. Uh, any hints, guys? Clocking off. Finally. Listen, I don't think that's gonna help. Where the heck is Hook? Do I? Mining tool? See a pickaxe. Where is Hook? Maybe in the clinic? Probably not in the clinic. Probably not in the clinic. No, definitely outside of the clinic, but... Okay. This might just be the rest of the video, me trying to find Hook. Oh, wait a sec. Is this supposed to... Oh, there you are! How did I miss you? How did I not see... Oh, did I actually go this way, though? I don't remember if I did. Anyway. Practice, gotcha. practice round smashed. Gotcha, don't you mean? Gotcha. I've made that joke to my friend Asami a few times. Uh. So what? It's just a practice. Until we're playing for real, you'll see. It's like me. Everything's a practice round unle unless you win. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Now we're playing for real. You gotta count to fifty before you open your eyes. No cheating. Fifty. 47, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. I think March is enjoying this more than she wants to let on. Come on, Kevin lost the game for ages. <laughs> You're doomed. You're doomed. Right, so I've got to find all three of them. Oh, they, they, they're in a much bigger area now as well. Okay. Clocking off. Clocking off. We get it, dude. Oh, well, wow, Hook. You were so hard to find. No, I don't want to look at the bloody crates, do I? Don't run. I got you, Hook. But not fair. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here? <laughs> Okay, well, the the leader's done. Now I just need, need to find Julian and the other kid whose name I'm not sure if I know. Oh, wait, did I just see another one? Is that you? You guys suck. Ha -ha, I caught you. Like, you're not even trying. Hmm. Doesn't count unless you can answer this question. What? Show me the rule book. <laughs> but we caught you. What's with the Q&A? <laughs> I had you there. Yeah, I ain't falling for that. Alright, well that's two. What's the bet in the third one's gonna be taking me bloody ages though? Right, they're not up there. They're not up there. Come out, little children. Something's not right. 
Uh. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. But that, that kid's gonna be there forever. Okay. Hello, sir. Bespectacled man. Okay, he's trying to act casual with the old whistle, the old whistle routine. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy, but... Uh, it's him, no doubt. He's looking taller and older. Looks like an adult to me. Wait, what are you, what are you guys trying to get at? He's looking taller and older? That's because I'm tall. And old. I'm a grown man. Ask anyone. What? What? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. How? Uh, 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 but, but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. Uh, why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? How did you even do that? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. It might have. It might actually have been magic because how the fuck did he manage that? I... Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> it was all March. March was... I, I would have been running around for years. <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. <laughs> with my help? It doesn't sound like something you'd say. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take some of the credit there. Nice. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the Fight Club. I knew it! I knew we were gonna end up going there. The Fight Club? Uh, <laughs> they did it! Those bastards, they did it. Uh, I thought the first rule was. You don't talk about it. I'm so glad they did that. It was such a it's too obvious a reference not to make. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? I've already been there, March. I I I had, I had an invitation, although it wasn't actually to the Fight Club, as it turns out. Hmm. But it's an obvious building. <laughs> Grownups are just useless. Yeah, Hook. They might be. Come with Hook. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? Wow. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Hmm. I mean, what else are you going to do down here, though, for fun? It's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? <laughs> Loads of kids take part. We're here. This is it. Uh, Hook's gonna go fight. See you later. Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? That's definitely not more rock, paper, scissors, right? The moles are in charge. That's who. Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. Yeah. Uh, the moles control this whole area. How much do you know about wildfire? Mm. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Okay, we might do. So we haven't done any fight in this whole episode yet. Get a bit of a Trailblazer XP though. Right hook. Uh, right hook. <laughs> there are so uh, many people here. Looks too short. You can't see anything. Yeah, you are kind of small. What? When did you did, did you hear what Hook was saying? Uh, uh, saying what? No, not, not a single word about you saying you're too short. Oh, good. Wait a second. <laughs> you did too hear everything Hook was saying. Oh, I like you, Hook. Grown up fights are less fun than ours. So, what if I can't see? You have to use your fists, palms, and even your fingers in combat. If you don't know how, you're done for. You need to train. Until your body is an extension of the mind. And the 
extension of your will. It's quite profound for a little kid. Fists, palms, and fingers. Ugh, rock, paper, scissors! Ugh, phew, no wonder I was confused. So it is rock, paper, scissors. It's also weird every time I turn back into a fox lady. Right, in we go. Oh, hang on. My friend, looking for a ticket? I've already got a ticket, I think. Or I did have. Uh, Fight Club is recruiting boxers. Wait, so is it? I'm confused. Is it? I think maybe the kids just do rock, paper, scissors. Hopefully. And the grown ups do the fighting? All sorts of posters, invitation notices, and plastic notes. Clearly, for many people, the boxer recruitment form has ignited the fight. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't we examine that from within? I don't know. Anyway. The eighth and final rule Enter the Fight Club. Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? Dr. Dig. On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! Cold Dragon Young. I mean, the unsmiling part's definitely true. And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive Mike! Of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Svarog! Svarog. Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say WHATEVER! <laughs> And so, let the semi-finals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! That's a lot. Quick, let's help him! Are we, are we, yeah, can we fight as well? Go Is this on. allowed? Brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events. Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! We got his back. <laughs> So you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. I mean, I guess playing hide and seek was to try and find him to get the information, but we didn't. It wasn't really the first thing we did, and it certainly wasn't the first thing I did. I just ate a bunch of crab. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. Yeah, stick to your rock, paper, scissors. Because you suck at it. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the <laughs> Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. Okay, let's just go for it, Dr. Dig. I feel like you like the sound of your own voice. I can take them on my own, you know. Uh, well, we'll see about we need that. to work on your emotional intelligence. <laughs> Hold the line, destroy them all. I just want to go home. Destroy them all. Right. Combat. Okay, so... Ting Yun, I, again, I'm probably saying her name wrong. So you're electric, uh, which, yeah, is actually super good against these. Or we could do support, um, which is going to be just buffs, right? In fact, I should probably just check the abilities again on her. So skill, support, grants a single ally with benediction to increase her attack by 25%, up to 50% of Tingyun's current attack. Okay. When they ally with Benediction attacks, they will deal additional lightning damage. Oh. Benediction lasts for three turns and is only effective on the most recent receiver of her skill. So I can't just use it on everyone because it... So is that telling me that only one person can have that at one time? Is that correct? That seems like the case. Um, when an enemy is attacked by Tingyun, the ally with Benediction immediately deals additional. Ooh, okay. Right, so let's do let's do this on. Uh, mm, down. All the best. 
Nice. Right, so Dan should be extra powerful now and also do lightning damage as well as wind, which is going to be awesome. Or not. Oh, it just fucking blew up. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just, uh, I'm just gonna hit it. Bosh. These things are weak. And we got, uh, yeah, our new healer as well, who we don't need to really use in that. Right now, I just slapped it with his tail. Okay. are always welcome. Right, so I mean I could single target now. Break that one. So I yeah, I'm really I'm just gonna test this out actually. What if I do that on my main character? Now? Ah, okay, so that has swapped over from Dan to me, I guess. Was I not supposed to do additional lightning damage though? I swear that's what her skill said. Uh, when the ally with benediction attacks, they will deal additional lightning damage equal to 20% of that ally's attack for one time. I didn't notice that Dan did that, but I could have been wrong. Right, uh, let's kill you. Goodbye. This freaking blows up. It's so violent. Love the view of the city. Oh! Okay. Well, that was rather easy. Oh, what a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last-minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? <laughs> Cooler than Cold Dragon Young, Cold Dragon Younger, and Cold Dragon Youngest? Ah, <sighs> forget it. Our taste in nicknames is different. <laughs> hey, look, it's Sampo. Oh, was it? I, I briefly saw him. What's he up to? We've got an explanation to demand. We got another butt to kick. We should thank him. We got another butt to kick. Let's get after him. All right. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure if I understand her. I mean, we obviously increased Dan's attack, but I didn't notice any extra lightning damage. I could have been wrong. Right, let's make chase. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Yes, let's search nearby. Is he going to do a better job of hiding than the kids did? Ooh, there's a chest right here that I missed. All right. Down here. Don't think he will be down here, but there's more trash cans. Game time. Guess how many trash cans are there in Bellabog? Attention, trash cans put side by side together are considered as one, but those that you can see but cannot be reached do not count. I have no idea, mate. Um, I'm going to go with 19. Nice answer. Honestly, it's. It is uncertain if your answer is correct. This is the underworld, after all. The trash can has not seen its overworld relatives for a long time. You know what? Here comes a question with a definite answer. How many trash cans are there in this town? The rules are the same. Oh, bloody hell. Count only these cylindrical trash cans. Uh... Well, if one's side by side are counted as one, I'm just gonna go with six. Shit. Damn it. Could I have got a reward if I got that right? Bollocks. A huge dumpster filled to the brim. The mixture of all kinds of trash results in putrid odor. However, those who live in the underworld have some consolation. They don't need to go through the trouble of sorting their garbage. This odd dumpster stands silently, carrying its own resolute gravitas that reminds you of an elder of a vast, vast wisdom. What? Um. I won't touch. I will pay respects to it. You bowed, Elder Dumpster, to which it responds with a deep dignity. It f almost feels like it has the size of two dumpsters. Oh, I got Sanctity of Trash Cat. What? Also, there's a post box. Tucked away in a corner. 
It's not really tucked away in a corner. I wouldn't put... It's on a corner. It's not tucked in a corner. Better not disturb it. Crazy. Um, that kind of looks like I can go that way, but I can't. Right, well, we're definitely not where we should be looking for uh, Sampo right now. I'm just really... I think there's one more chest. There's one more chest we've not found. I don't know where it is. Um, but it's not that important, probably. Would be cool if we got it, though. Oh, there it is! We found it. I swear I was trying to press the sprint button, then. Right, more Stella Jade, more Creditos. Right. Uh, I think we'll probably, you know what, we'll probably end it there, actually. Next time, we'll we'll see if we can track down Sampo. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Of course, tips and things are super appreciated, but just patience as well. And uh, I really do hope you're continuing to watch this. Uh, really hope you're continuing to watch this. Continue to enjoy watching this, is what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, Love it, loving it, though. It's great. It's so good. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.